It's his birthday. Okay, we're ready. Oh, here we go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rio. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> What's down here? What's down here? <gasps> oh my goodness. Last present. Last present? <laughs> Sorry. The first present. Oh God, you've opened them all without me. <laughs> right, here we go. Rio, your favourite breakfast? What? Sausages. Dr. D. Yay. Yay. Let's have your birthday breakfast. <laughs> so, because I went to bed so late last night. Can look at Lovely birthday plates. Oh, that's it. Wipe your mouth. That's it. What a lovely birthday treat. Rio's just had a, it feels like a two hour leisurely breakfast. We had two he, sausages. He wanted sausages. Only wanted sausages. Go on, open it quickly. And now he's opening his gift. Oh, this is from Daddy and Dada. Oh. And Rebel, obviously. And Dolly. And Dolly. Oh, what is it, Dolly? What is it? <laughs> Oh, one piece at a time. <laughs> oh. Oh, Dad. Dad. Look, you dry them all round. I to make them out. Wow. Next present. Next present. Oh. Oh. Hello my darlings, welcome back to the second part of the vlog. So it is now a few days after Rio's birthday. And as you can see, me and Rebel are sat in bed. It's 10.30 a.m. We, we had a bit of a rough night, not with her, with Re Re Rio. Rio was up and I'm just tired. So we're just having a chill day and it was raining and shit's like, oh, I've put tickets to go see Mr. Tumble in, in uh, Hyde Park. And I looked at the weather, I was like, it's not fun for a, me a baby, and, you know, outside in the rain so we're just having a duvet day aren't we 
Yeah, it's so much nicer. So we're gonna have a DVD day. I think we're gonna tidy the house because it's an absolute state. Rio's got like so many toys everywhere. You can enjoy some tidying the house content potentially. See how I feel. And then Stuart can take you to Hyde Park. How lovely, you get to be two places in, in one time. We are off to see Mr. Tumble. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you steady? Here we go. Off to see Mr. Tumble. Can we make it there? Because we're obviously late. We have arrived, um, we parked really easily actually, which is perfect, and we have just seen the park. Are you okay? <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Nearly there. Bless him. I didn't bring the, the rain thing. Being a parent and being organized. So I was joining a little bit late, so missed the beginning, but he absolutely loved Mrs. Humble. So fun. And see if you're tall enough to go on the ride. Oh no. Just under. Look, you need to be this tall. Wow, what a result. <laughs> He's sleeping now, so I'm gonna pop to Primark and see if I can find any bits and pieces for us at Christmas. Hi Abby! So that was a pretty unsuccessful trip in Primark. I was looking for something in particular. So I wanted cream plain t-shirts and jumpers because my mum wants to do some like Christmassy kind of matching jumper thing. But Primark didn't, ha didn't have any. Rio's still fast asleep, so I'm gonna drive home now and go and get some lunch at home. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Another half an hour has passed and I'm still in bed. <laughs> It's just so not like me, but oh my god, it's just so nice. Oh, I suppose I should get up and do something with my day. Just having an iced coffee, see if it motivates me. <laughs> I'm not very good at doing nothing. I feel like I always have to achieve something. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start cleaning. Devil's having another nap. <laughs> the life of a newborn is quite thrilling. Wake, eat, sleep. So nice. Right. This is a disaster. We better get going. Excuse me, I'm just in my towel, but I've just tidied up downstairs. Revel is sleeping, so I thought we could have a little chat. I'll do that thing that all the vloggers do where they put on their skincare and they talk about their life and things that are going on. Right, where's my skincare? <sighs> so I thought I'd just update you guys on things that are going on in our life right now. So obviously we just had Rio's birthday party, which was amazing. It always feels like as soon as Rio's birthday is over, now we can focus fully on Christmas. So our Christmas plan, we're actually gonna stay here and we're gonna have Stuart's family coming over. We had originally planned to go out for a meal for Christmas dinner, which I was really excited about because I hate cooking. I don't know anyone else like, like you cook for like hours and hours. I know some people love it, but it takes like five minutes to eat it. So why do that and create all the mess? Why don't we just go out? But his family are coming over. So hopefully one of, they, uh, one of them will cook so I don't have to. But I'm really looking forward to it because it's gonna be Rio and his cousins and they just love playing together. He's just gonna go wild. And hopefully the elf will come and visit and yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. We've said to you guys before, we're gonna be doing Vlogmas, so we're gonna be vlogging every day. Sometimes the thought of that overwhelms me slightly because I'm like, some days it's like, you just like, to pick up a camera is like, 
takes a lot. Looking back at last year's, I just love all the memories. It's just amazing. I'm not gonna put pressure on myself, but I'm just gonna think about the memories. And it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do loads of things. We're gonna to go to the Winds of Light, Christmas Pantos. If Rebel's Passport arrives on time, I started applying for that last week. But because of the fact that it's the surrogacy process, because she's got a surrogate mother, you have to add, like, send in so many more documents. So there's no guarantee when that's gonna come. But hopefully soon, because I'd love to go on, like, a weekend away to see some Christmas markets. I know it's a lot with two kids, but Stuart and I just love traveling. But I'm hoping, praying, that passport's gonna come by January because we booked to go to, to LA. We go to LA and Hawaii and Disneyland, which is gonna be so fun because we went to Disneyland Paris earlier this year. Rio had no idea who Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse was, but he just went wild. Now he's been watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and he is gonna go crazy. So it's just gonna be so fun just to basically see him at Disneyland. Biggest difference over the last few weeks is Rebel and she's just a, like a completely different baby. And I've chatted to you about the fact that we changed her milk. I put, I've put her on solely breast milk for someone that leads a dairy-free diet. And I'm literally down to my last two bags. I was really, really worried because I don't want to upset what's been going on. I want to keep her feeling great. And I didn't want to go back on the formula. Not to say formula is bad, but she just was constipated on it. So luckily, I've got this amazing friend that helps source women that have got milk to donate. So this amazing doctor up in North Yorkshire somewhere, who leads a dairy-free diet. Basically, I've arranged a courier to get that milk delivered to us. So I'm not going to run out, which is great. So we can keep Rebel on the breast milk. Having a second baby, I thought I knew so much about being a dad, but I've learned so much by having a different baby and them having different needs. And I never want it to come across that, you know, I know this is to say that breast is best. Like, I just believe that, you know, you make the right decisions for you and what's best for your baby in that moment. Going around the country or finding breast milk is a lot, but it's just something I'm passionate about. And I just love the way that Rio thrived on it. And I'm sure he would have been thriving on formula too but also love the connections and the people that want to donate and I just I just love it and it feels like the right decision. When Rebel came along and it didn't seem like that was going to be the way, I was a little bit disappointed. It's kind of letting go of an ideal really, like the ideal of like wanting to do, this, do the same thing. But it's kind of come full circle and she's back on the breast milk but obviously with someone that needs a dairy free diet and I still don't know if that actually is the real reason but it's just been amazing and she's, I mean she's full on. I feel like she's got a bit of sass to her. I mean she's sassy but she's settled and she sleeps through the night. She's slept through the night a number of times now. Rio is waking up every couple of hours it is like it's keeping Stuart up as well, which is never a good thing because Stuart without sleep is just a oh, blessing. So that's my skincare routine done. I don't know if I did it very well, but I basically did a toner. I did a serum, eye cream. Oh, I haven't done a moisturizer. I am actually just wearing pants and t-shirt, but I am not naked or wearing a t-shirt skirt or a vest skirt. I'll show you what I mean. So it could kind of be like, yeah. I'm just gonna get my moisturizer. <laughs> so I'm actually going to use the Kiehl's Facial Fuel, which is, I actually really like this one because it's got like a bit of a cold tint. Oh, it's fresh into your face. I tell you one thing I've been doing is I have cold showers. So I have a shower warm and then I turn it for cold and I just do like breathing as long as I can do. And it just like freshens me up. I absolutely love it. I've been using mainly Arbonne, which is a product that Stuart and I have been using for years. They've got this new range out called Derm Results, which I love. And then I use generally use the Kiehl's facial wash in the shower and I tend to use this in the day, the facial fuel. You know how some people like, me to like massage it into your skin. I'm like, put it on your face and crack on. Shh, there we go. Ooh. Nothing like a punami to bring you back down to parenting her. I had to give her a quick wash. I literally was thinking today, wow, Rebel, it's been a while since I've seen you poo. Maybe I've missed a poo. And the reason was she saved it for that moment there, didn't you, hun? Rio and Dad are back. Have you had a nice day, honey? No. Why not? What did you not like about today? No, I didn't. So the reason he's not had a good day is because he's asked me for a cake because behind me in the laundry, I don't know if you can see that, there's a cake stand. And he understands that's what the cakes were on for his birthday. I was like, no, you can't have cake, honey. That's the wrong way around. Do you love daddy? Don't you dare shake your head. <laughs> Say yes. Yeah, you said yes, but shook your head, so I'm going to take that as a yes. Do you love Daddy? Yeah. Yeah? Does that, do you love Dolly? Yeah. 
Do you love? Do you love Dada? Dada. <laughs> Sorry, Rose. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Give me a smile. Give me a smile. Boy. <laughs> Perry just fell asleep then. Right now we have to sit in Rio's room and wait for him to fall asleep because it's going to be a bit of like a reassurance thing. Like he needs the reassurance. Like he wakes up in the middle of the night going, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. The first time you're like, oh, no worries, I'm here. The second time you're like, no worries, I'm here. The third time you're like, get back to sleep. Get back to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm going to go downstairs and let Stuart chat to you for a bit because I've been chatting way too much on this vlog. I've been vlogging a lot and I said that you probably haven't spoken to them for a little while, so... I haven't. Do you know why? Because I'm watching my favourite TV programme. I love Saturday Night TV. Oh, Street Become Dancing. It's the vision for us, One World. I had a vision, like, I'm here with the children. Francis is doing Street Become Dancing. Oh my god, I would love that. Once this is done, you can just chat to them a little bit, okay? Let's do it. You, just you. Let's just, do it. just you. I've been... After this, I've got to watch The Crown. <laughs> no? No, is there anything else? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. You're not watching The Crown. You need to. And if so you good. are watching it, how good is it? So I wonder who would play us if we would do, if they were making a doc <clears throat> Netflix documentary about us. <coughs> It would be the whole si the f whole first series would be of Francis basically moaning about how much sleep he's had. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I noticed in the li in, in the birthday vlog is like I brought the energy <coughs> and all Francis did was like, okay, so today I've had one hour's sleep. I'm not gonna lie though, it, it has a massive impact on how I feel. Like I felt yeah. so tired today. So Same. I'm say. I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted. Yeah. I've had two coffees today. Okay, right, bye.